welcome all to electronics online lecture series we will be discussing electronic instruments from paper 1 first chapter in this chapter there are three instruments cro cathode ray oscilloscope function generator and digital multimeter we will be discussing cro that is cathode ray oscilloscopes block diagram explanation of each block detail explanation of crt that is cathode ray tube and electrostatic focusing system so let us begin cro that is cathode ray oscilloscope this is the block diagram of cathode ray oscilloscope as you can see here there are different blocks input attenuator vertical amplifier delay line trigger circuit time based generator horizontal amplifier blanking circuit power supply and the main that is crt now let us begin with explanation of each and every block of cro input attenuator and vertical amplifier usually the input signal has not sufficient magnitude to move the beam vertically over the screen in order to amplify the signal to desired value vertical amplifier is required this amplifier signal is applied to the vertical plates the gain of this amplifier can be controlled by volts per division knob the output of this amplifier is applied to delay line delay line next block is delay line delay line delays the arrival of the input waveform at the vertical deflection plates until the trigger and time based circuits start the sweep of the beam the delay line produces a delay of 0.25 microseconds so that the leading edge of the input waveform can be viewed even though it was used to trigger the sweep next block is trigger generator a sample of the input waveform is fed to trigger circuit which produces a trigger pulse at some selected point on the input waveform this trigger pulse is used to start the time based generator that is the next block which then starts the horizontal sweep of crt spot from left hand side of the screen the next block is time based generator this block this produces a sawtooth waveform that is used as horizontal deflection voltage of crt the rate of rise of positive going part of sawtooth waveform is controlled by time per division knob the sawtooth voltage is fed to the horizontal amplifier if the switch is in internal position if the switch is external position an external horizontal input can be applied to the horizontal amplifier now the next block in this series is horizontal amplifier this amplifies the sawtooth voltage as it indicates as it includes a phase inverter two outputs are produced positive going sawtooth and negative going sawtooth which are applied to the right hand and left hand horizontal deflection plates of crt in between is the blanking circuit the blanking circuit is necessary to eliminate the retrace that would occur 
when the spot on the screen of CRT moves from right to left side. This retrace can cause confusion if it is not eliminated. The planking voltage is produced by swift generator. Hence, a high negative voltage is applied to the control grid during the retrace period or a high positive voltage is applied to cathode in CRT. When a sawtooth voltage is applied to horizontal plates and an input signal is applied to vertical plates, display of vertical input signal is obtained on the screen as a function of time. The important block is power supply. High voltage section is used to operate CRT and low voltage section is used to supply electronic circuit of the oscilloscope. Now the heart of CRO that is CRT. This part. This is CRT. CRT is nothing but it is heart of CRO. It consists of electron gun, deflection plates and fluorescent screen. So this is about the block diagram of CRO. These are the blocks of CRO. Cathode ray tube CRT. This is the diagram of cathode ray tube. Main parts of cathode ray tube are electron gun assembly, deflection plate assembly, fluorescent screen and glass envelope and base of the tube. CRT is also known as heart of CRO. Electron gun assembly produces a narrow and sharply focused beam of electrons which travels with a very high velocity towards the fluorescent screen. On its way, the beam passes through two pairs of deflection plates. On striking the screen, the beam produces a small light spot on the screen. Now let us discuss in detail the function of each assembly. Electron gun assembly. The first one. Electrons are emitted from an indirectly heated cathode. The cathode is surrounded by a control grid. This one, control grid. The electrons that pass through a small hole in the grid make up the beam current this way. The magnitude of beam current can be adjusted by intensity control that is a front panel control. The electrons are then accelerated by high positive potential applied to two accelerating anodes like this. These anodes are then separated by a focusing anode. This one is the focusing anode which produce, provides narrow and sharp electron beam. The beam then travels through deflection plate assembly like this. Now the next one is deflection plate assembly. If voltages are applied to deflection plates, these two are the pairs of deflection plates. The electron beam can be deflected in horizontal direction by horizontal deflection plates or in vertical direction by vertical deflection plates. Mostly electrostatic deflection is used in CRT. The third assembly is fluorescent screen. This one is the third assembly. When electron beam strikes the screen of the CRT, a spot of light is produced like this. On the inner surface of the screen, phosphor coating is present. 
The secondary electrons are collected by a conductive graphite coating called as aquadiac coating. This one is the aquadiac coating which is electrically connected to the second anode. Now the fourth assembly that is glass envelope and base of the tube. The envelope of the cathode ray tube is made of glass. It is highly evacuated. The elements of the electron gun assembly are connected to pins on the CRT base. So this is all about cathode ray tube. These are the main parts. Once again, electron gun assembly, deflection plate assembly, fluorescent screen, glass envelope and base of the tube. Focusing system in this first one is the electrostatic focusing system. This is the diagram of electrostatic focusing system. As you can see here, there are pre-accelerating anodes, focusing anodes and accelerating anodes. The electrostatic focusing system of CRT consists of, as I have mentioned, pair of pre-accelerating anode, focusing and accelerating anode. These anodes are cylindrical in form with small openings located in the center of each cylinder along the axis of the tube. The electrons coming out of the control grid are accelerated by high voltage applied to the accelerating anode. These electrons have a tendency to diverge from each other. Therefore, the beam is focused to form a sharp image on the screen by the focusing anode. The focusing anode, the second anode, is connected to a lower positive potential than the accelerating anode. Because of the difference in potentials, the equipotential surfaces between focusing and accelerating anodes form a shape like a convex lens. When the electron beam passes through this region, the electrons experience a force in a direction normal to the equipotential surfaces. This one, these two are the equipotential surfaces. Therefore, the beam is converged into sharp point on the screen like this. This is the sharp spot. The focal length of the electrostatic lens system can be changed by changing the voltage on the focusing anode by using front panel control mark as focus. The remaining thing that is electromagnetic and electrostatic deflection system and the remaining part of CRO function generator and DMM we will see in the next series. Thank you.